This is Ferragna P30, a new old black and white film stock made by the Italian film manufacturer Film Ferragna. Ferragna was one of the big players in the film industry up until their demise in the 2000s, at which time their factory shut down and lay dormant until 2013. That's when a group got together to purchase several key pieces of film producing machinery out of the old Ferragna campus and to attempt to restart film production. To facilitate the purchase, a crowdfunding campaign was launched, and the original plan was to purchase and relocate the machinery, get it all set up and dialed in, restart film production, and produce color slide film in 35mm, 120, Super 8, and 16mm formats, all within a 7 month timetable. To call this project ambitious would have been an understatement. Unfortunately for the folks at Film Ferragna and their backers, there was a series of unfortunate events which caused delay after delay. Things like a historic snowstorm which blew through Italy causing leaks and cracks in the pipes, finding asbestos in the walls which needed to be removed, having heavy machinery break their demineralized water pipes causing flooding, having low pressure gas pipes installed instead of the required high pressure pipes. This is where the public water arrived but this is where they needed it. The same story with the electricity. The red line shows where they needed to dig and place new power lines. All of this among other issues, which caused them to miss their original deadline. A few years would pass and at a certain point, the original goal of creating color slide film was shelved and they pivoted. And that's when they announced P30. It started slowly, but things started to pick up and it seemed like they finally got a handle on producing P30 at a regular rate. And then 2020 happened. Whatever film was available sold out, and it was radio silence for the next few years. But recently, there appears to be life at the Ferrania factory. They had a fresh batch of film hit the shelves, and so I picked up a roll. This stuff is an 80 speed black and white panchromatic film. The first thing I notice is how contrasty it is, and what little latitude it gives you. You could pull some details out of the highlights, but anything in the shadows just gets crushed. And it's also very fine grain, and this was developed in Rodinol, which definitely doesn't help it in this case, but it still looks pretty smooth. Now I only picked up one fresh roll because I actually had several rolls of the alpha run. This is from the first run of P30 back in 2017. I bought a few rolls and I just threw it in the freezer and I kind of forgot about it. There's no expiration date on here but I'm pretty sure they're expired by now. And just to rule out that being an issue, I shot these two side by side for a few frames. There might be slight differences in exposure because I used two different cameras with two different lenses. I also developed these in the same tank, so that should eliminate that as a variable. The characteristics and how it renders the image look pretty much the same, so I feel pretty confident shooting through rest of my alpha rolls and the results being the same as the current production rolls. As an aside, this is the can that the alpha roll came in. This is actually just a sticker placed over this can, which is a Centuria 200 color film can. Uh, Ferragno just got these cans, like new old stock, and reused them. In comparison, this is the new can that the fresh film came in. And this is actually a lot nicer than the old one. They're both just bent sheet metal, but this one has like a nice label to it and it just feels nicer. It's more robust. Like there's less play in the spool and the metal just feels higher quality. And I know that really that doesn't matter because it's just a light tight metal can and they both function pretty much exactly the same, but it's just nice to see that there's a little bit more thought and effort put into this thing as opposed to this thing. 
For this role, I decided to push it two stops. To no one's surprise, it made a contrasty film even contrastier. The grain doesn't seem to be too different from box speed, which actually is kind of surprising to me, especially since I developed it in Rodenol. It's also worth mentioning I took a wild swing at the development time. There are no published times for pushing this film two stops, so I used the massive dev charts push processing guide as a starting point, which led me to develop this in Rodenol 1 to 25 for 18 minutes. Is that a proper time for a two stop push? I don't know. These frames look properly exposed and developed, so maybe. If you love contrast and hate shadow detail, then do I have the process for you? If Franya is truly back, then I am happy for them and I will always be happy to see more film in the market. But I am a little disappointed that they fell short in their original goal of a new color film, so I figure I'll do it myself. The colors are a little off, and it's not a perfect substitute for a color slide film, but at least now I could say I shot some fresh Franya film and got some color images out of it. During the original crowdfunding campaign almost a decade ago, I pledged $40 for two rolls of 120 color slide film. And because of that, I've kept tabs on the campaign over the years. The lack of communication and falling short of the original goal had ruffled some feathers. I understand that people are upset and I understand why people are upset. But manufacturing film is incredibly difficult, so I'm erring on the side of giving Franya a little bit of wiggle room here. I'm also not absolving Franya of any responsibility. Their crowdfunding campaign was overpromised and underdelivered, and they are taking their lumps for that. But if they are truly back to making film, then I support them wholeheartedly. Even though I still want my slide film.